All right, you guys, this lesson is using ratios and proportions to solve problems. So we're probably about four or five days in the school year, so I hope you're having a great year and you're really digging your math class. Let's go ahead and get started with this here. So a couple of definitions here. So a ratio, you guys, is just a comparison of two numbers by division. And it's usually written as a fraction. Sometimes they use a colon. I'll show examples of both of those. So a proportion is an equation. An equation means equal sign. An equation stating that two ratios are equal. So for example, uh, here's one ratio, 6 eighths, and that equals 3 fourths. So if it equals each other, this ratio equals this ratio, then this is a proportion right here. And when you have a proportion, we can do this math procedure, which is called cross multiplication. And everybody's done this before, sooner or later. So for example, right up here in this proportion, 6 times 4 is the same as 8 times 3. 6 times 4 equals 8 times 3. This is 24. This is 24. So that's what's the, the trick on uh, proportions is you can do uh, cross multiplication and solve for unknowns. Here's an example. So a totem pole is 90 feet tall and casts a shadow that is 45 feet long. At the same time, a 6 foot tall man casts a shadow that is X feet long. So I guess we're looking for the length of the, the shadow of the man right here. So here's a picture right here. It's not drawn to scale, but at least it gives us an idea right here. Here's our totem pole right here. This is 90. Okay, here's our 6 foot man over here. Here's the totem pole shadow is 45. And then uh, uh, we don't, we're looking for that shadow right here. I think in your textbook, I think we're looking for the totem pole. So we're going to do the same thing, you guys. It's going to ask you uh, some, some setup questions like this. Here's a, it's asking you, uh, what is the ratio of the man's height to the totem pole's height? Well, remember, ratio means fraction. So, so the man's height is 6 feet and the totem pole's height is 90 feet right there. Okay. So there's a ratio. We're just going to get another ratio and then set them equal to each other and cross multiply. Multiply. All right, let's reduce this. I don't want to deal with this 90 when I multiply you guys. So I know 2 goes into both these numbers, but 3 does too. And if 2 and 3 go, both goes into that, that means 6 goes into both of those. So let's make it and reduce it even further by dividing 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 90 divided by 6 is 15. So this reduces to 1 15th. I'd rather deal with that ratio. All right, now what's the ratio of the man's shadow to the totem pole shadow? Okay, so the man's shadow is x. The totem pole shadow is 45, so x over 45. Okay, so now we're going to write a proportion. Now we got to be consistent, you guys. We have to be, if we if we have the man on uh, uh, in the numerator here, then we're going to have to have the man in the numerator here and the so we got the man's height over the pole's height so over here we're going to have the man's shadow over the pole shadow okay all right so let's put this in here so the man's height and the pole's height right here is this ratio 1 15th okay and then the man's uh, shadow and the totem pole shadow is this ratio x over 45 okay so now we can cross multiply and solve for this proportion right here okay so when we cross multiply uh, 15 times x equals 1 times 45 well this is just 15 x and this is just 45 so do you remember from your last class we'd take this and divide both sides by 15 actually in our last lesson we did that also all right, and 15 goes into 45 three times. So let's answer the question. Always answer the question. So the man's shadow is three feet long, even though I didn't answer, ask a question. I forgot to leave that off. What's the length of the man's shadow? I should have wrote that there. Anyway, so the man's shadow is three feet tall. Okay, that's not the only proportion we can do. We can do another one here. So here's the way we just did it right here. 1 over 15 equals x over 45. So... How about this, you guys? If we did the man's height over the man's shadow, okay, the man's height over the man's shadow would equal 6 over x, okay? And then if we set that equal to, um, we got to keep it uh, consistent. If we do the man's height over the shadow, then we got to do the height over the shadow. So the pole's height over the pole's shadow, okay? So the pole's height is 90 and the pole's shadow is 45, okay? So here we go. Now let's reduce, you guys. Now do you see how much this can reduce right here? Uh, 90 is 45 times 2, so we can divide both those guys by 2 and make them much smaller numbers. I'd rather deal with 2 over 1 than 90 over 45, especially when I'm multiplying and dividing and all that. All right, so now we can go ahead and uh, set up that proportion and then cross multiply. Okay, so uh, 2 times x equals 6 times 1. So 2x equals 6. 
So divide by uh, 2, and you get uh, x equals 3 feet. So the man's shadow is still 3 feet long. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Um, there's a, probably another one you can do. Uh, you can do them up. To, I'll get into that probably when you're in your class. So anyways, there's a couple of ways we can solve that. All right, scale drawings, you guys, are similar drawings that use a scale which is a ratio, you guys, to represent something larger. Okay, so here's an example right here. So here's what we're going to, this is a scale drawing of the actual distance right here. So the actual distance from Evanston to Highland Park right here is 15.6 miles. Okay, now this is 15.6 miles. So it says find the distance on the map. All right, well, the key feature is this right here one inch is 18 miles. So that's our ratio. Okay, so that one inch every 18 miles is going to go the map uh, uh, length over the actual length. So the map length is that one inch and the actual length is 18 miles. Okay, and what we're going to do is set, since we have the map's distance, we're going to set whatever distance this is, we'll call it D. So the distance from Evanston to Highland Park we'll call D and they told us the actual distance is 15.6. Okay, so uh, now we can set up the proportion right here and then cross multiply. Okay, so we get uh, uh, 18 times D is 18D equals 1 times 15.6, which is uh, just 15.6. All right, you're going to have to pick up a calculator here, you guys, and do um, uh, to divide both sides by 18 and 15.6 divided by 18. I got um, uh, 0.8666666 and it kept repeating. Okay, and I think the textbook says round it to the nearest hundredth. So hundredth is two decimals. So we rounded it to this decimal right here. So since this is five or bigger, since this is bigger than five, then this increases by one. So it became 0.87. And this is read as 87 hundredths because it ends in the hundredth spot. 87 hundredths of an inch. So that would be the actual map distance from here to here, 87 hundredths of an inch. So a little bit less than an inch right there. All right, so the distance on the map from Evanston to Highland Park is about 87 hundredths of an inch. All right, let's try another one here with this same map, you guys. The actual distance between North Chicago, here's North Chicago up here, and, golly, I can't even pronounce that, Waukegan <laughs> is four miles, okay? So that's the actual distance right there. What is the distance on the map around to the nearest tenth? Okay, we're going to use this same ratio, 1 to 18. Okay, so 1 inch for every 18 miles. Okay, and we're looking for the actual length right here. So this will be our D. So what is the distance on the map? So that's going to be the top part because that's the, the smaller part over the 4 miles right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cross multiply and we get 18D equals 4 and then divide both sides by 18 right there. And... Um, uh, we get D equals 2 ninths, and 2 ninths in a calculator is about 0 0.222222. And this one says round to the nearest tenth. So the nearest tenth is the first decimal place right there. So this is going to be about uh, 0.2 or 2 tenths of an inch. The distance on the map from North Chicago to Waukegan <laughs> is about 2 tenths of an inch right there. Okay, a couple more, you guys, and we'll stop. So, GORP. Have you guys ever eaten GORP, you guys? Or GORP is a trail mix uh, that gives people energy for, like, backpacking and hiking in the mountains. And it's typically made up of nuts and, and, and uh, dried fruit. Okay, so a, t a particular type of GORP uh, is made up of nuts and raisins here. So, Sandra mixes a... a Sandra's particular mix consists of three parts of nuts with five parts of raisins. Here's our, our ratio, three to five, okay, or three over five. So Sandra mixes 12 ounces of raisins and eight ounces of nuts. Did Sandra mix the gorp correctly? Okay, now this three goes for the nuts. So if we put this in the numerator, three over five, then the nuts have to go in the top and the raisins have to go in the bottom. So we just have to be consistent. So three parts nuts for every five parts raisins. That's, does that equal Sanders' mix of eight ounces of nuts over 12 ounces of raisins? 
So we want to know, you guys, does uh, 3 fifths equal 8 twelfths? Well, we can check by cross multiplying, you guys. So if we cross multiply, does uh, 5 times 8 equal 3 times 12? Well, 5 times 8 is 40, and 3 times 12 is 36. So no, it doesn't equal. So Sandra uh, did not mix uh, the proper mixture for her GORP, okay? All right, if you guys were in my class, I would probably give you an assignment like that. Take care, you guys.